right, so I just got home from work and I'm gonna go through the tier one carry. The tier one carry is basically what I carry to work on my person. There's no extra baggage, nothing that I carry extra. Um, it could be the work setup that I have or the non-work setup. So I have a slight variation on what I carry for non-working conditions, but basically there's no bag, no pouches, none of that stuff. It is just what do I carry on my person. So this is a quick look down of what I've got. I've got the uh, kind of the holster with three tools here. I've got pockets with a couple of uh, tools in there and some other things in this pocket over here. So I'll go through all that. We'll empty this out on the table and I'll show you what my tier one carry is. So the tier one carry, this is my basically my work carry or my off work carry. This is not a duty carry, so this is not what I would have for law enforcement, but this is what I would use for work on this side and what I use for just kind of everyday, you know, non-work time. This is what I, the things that I would carry. In the middle here, these three things I carry with me all, actually four things I carry with me all the time with the exception of the cell phone. Um, and that is my wallet. It's a Dango wallet. I've got my AirPods. I've got an Olight. I think this is the Baton 2, oh, SR1 Baton 2, which I really like this a lot because there's a lockout on the light and it's extremely bright. It's a thousand uh, lumen. Um, doesn't stay you know, on for a long time because it heats up pretty good and, and it starts to throttle down, but easy to recharge, small compact flashlight. You have a hat clip on here that you can use forward and backwards. It's a two-way clip, so that's really great. And a core belt, which is great for um, not only just a belt. I always have a belt on because of first aid reasons. You, you can make a tourniquet out of it really fast. Um, at the same time, you can uh, conceal carry. Um, Keep your pants up, I guess. So those are the four things that I carry with me all the time. So over here is what I carry to work. And over here is what I carry in combination with those four things. So I don't carry all of these knives. I don't wear two watches. As a matter of fact, I'm wearing a watch right now. This is what I wore to work today. So this is a uh, Signum Cuda full loom dial awesome watch. All right, so we'll go over the, the work stuff to start with, my keys. And I like these keys because of this. I got this from a dude on YouTube, showed this where you can have your key, you can separate that from everything else. And I do this quite a bit actually, uh, house key, trailer keys, all that kind of stuff. So keys are really important <laughs> for driving for security purposes. So that's part of my work. This is a work setup here. So these keys I bring with me to work. It's my work truck, the house key, um, the locks on the trailer for locking down the, the gear. So everything comes, everything works together that way. So there's that. Watches, um, yes, because of what I do, I do keep track of time. These are not the only watches that I wear, but I wear these the most. I wear this one absolutely the most. This is a Casio uh, Pro Trek triple sensor watch. I believe it's the PRW 6600. Um, great watch, solar powered, radio controlled, so the time is always correct. Has the, the analog digital display, so analog, super easy to read. I look down, I can totally see what time it is. But then I also have the digital display. It has your uh, multiple time zones, multiple alarms, start stopwatch, timer, um, radio control you can reset it and you get the most up-to-date time on your watch so super easy to use also compass barometer altimeter temperature so i use this for outdoors this is probably the best digital watch that i've ever come across and i've had this brand and this style watch for almost 20 years actually over 20 years now so great watch i love it Super simple, you know, another, another watch when it comes to work watches. This is the Infantry MDC. This is actually the review on this is coming out. It's an, This is a perfect 10, by the way. For what it is and for the category it's in, this is a 10 out of 10. But I like a, a good watch that's easy to read, legible. This one's quartz, so there's no charging up. It is a battery, um, but, you know, super simple to use. NATO straps are really, really nice. Plus, double pass NATO straps, if anything happens where one lug falls off, the watch is still attached to your strap. So that's the beauty of that. I'm not going to get into the rest of this too much detail. You, you know, this is a Swiss Army Knife Deluxe Tinker. I've added a few more pieces to this when it comes down to the scales. I've got uh, a, a pen. I've got a fire starter, 
toothpick over here and the tweezer. Um, and it's got all the other tools in here, pliers and stuff like that. So I always have a Swiss Army knife on me. I've gotten back into them. I was away from them for a long time because I was all about the multi-tool. And what I found is the multi-tool is great for certain things, and the Swiss Army knife is even better for other things. Um, I always carry with me a really rugged knife, and this is the most rugged folding knife I've ever come across. It's the Cold Steel SR1. It is almost a quarter inch thick steel. I think it's, uh, it, well, it's less than a quarter inch, but it is extremely, extremely strong. Um, great lockup. Um, I forget the name of the, the, uh, the locking mechanism. The tri-lock, I think is what it's called. But it has a great solid lockup. There is absolutely no play whatsoever on this. And I use this for work all the time, uh, cutting things, bags, lines, stuff like that. So stuff that needs to be cut quick. This is what I wear on my belt along with the core belt over here. I got three things in here, a pen um, when I need it. Of course, the Swiss Army knife has a pen. I have an Olight baton, um, and I use this for inspection of things like, you know, I do something in the engine compartment on the truck or whatever. And that, surprisingly, I use the flashlight during the day a fair amount. So keeping this charged and keeping it ready to go is, is handy. And this is on my belt. Also, I have the Gerber suspension, multi-tool, not going to get into it, but basically pliers, wire cutters is what I use this a lot for. Um, screwdrivers and things like that, I'll, I'll definitely use it if I, you know, if I need to. Um, but other than that, I have other tools with me while I'm, while I'm working. So a good set of pliers that's on you is, is great, and I have a handful of other tools. So if I'm out away from the truck, I could potentially address some things pretty quick that way. This is a great little leather um, the, uh, leather sheath. Um, top stash, I guess is the name of this. I got it on Amazon, pretty cheap. I think it was 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever. And I got it for this purpose, that I would wear this and have the tools with me all the time. So this is pretty much my work carry. I don't, I, get, I wear one watch. But this is, you know, if I was to say, this is what I wear to work a lot. This wallet, flashlight. Yes, I do have a second flashlight um, in my pocket. And then I also have these things here uh, along with the phone. So that's the, the work carry. The non-work carry, we'll push all this to the side. The non-work carry, and this is, you know, around town, things like that. I always carry, this is the Huntsman. I always carry a Swiss Army knife with me. Um, and I like this because, again, all the tools, the scissors, the knives, the the screwdrivers, um, and I also added the same thing onto this. I've added the pen, I've added a fire starter, I've got the toothpick, and I've got the tweezer. So all kind of the same thing, same basic idea, multi-tool, good compact little knives. And I always carry one extra knife with me, and, you know, I carry a knife, and this is where I get a little bit, I don't know, snobbish, I guess, or... Um, I don't know if snobbish is the right word, right word, but I like to have a knife. You know, if I've got some watches that are red, and I'll wear the red knife. Um, this is a Kaiser Assassin button lock. I love button locks. So those of you that are looking at a new knife, I highly encourage you to check out the button locks. Um, this is the Max Ace. Oh, what is this one? The Max Ace Balance. And the Max Ace Balance is a bigger knife. Um... Bigger than I thought it was going to be, but I still wear it. Um, my wife says, and that's a, like, what are you going to be cutting with that? Well, whatever I want. So wear, the, wear that with the, I have a couple of yellow watches, watches that go with that, and then black. It goes with just about anything. And this is the Pyrite. Um, so it has the tab, the thumb stud, also button lock. Um, but it's, it's just a great knife, great steel good cutter, dedicated knife. It's it's a more substantial knife than the Swiss Army knife. Um, opening boxes, I'll probably use this, but doing something else, like let's say you're, for whatever reason, you're out and you have to cut some food up or, I don't know, do something a little bit more precise and repetitive and more of it. I would choose a knife over the Swiss Army knife. The Swiss Army knife is kind of like a utility type tool. So there it is, oh, flashlights. Um, I do carry the, the baton too, uh, was SL, SR1, S1R, <laughs> the cold steel is the SR1, S1R, um, I carry this almost all the time, but I do like this, this is the Rovivan, I think this is the A8, 
It has the flashlight, it has the UV light, it has a red light that, that SOSs and blinks, and it also has a reading light with a high and a low beam. And so I'll just go through these real quick. There's your light, and you can get different brightness levels. Turn it off, um, three clicks, or that's four clicks. So there's the reading light, two levels, okay? Here's the UV light, and the UV light is great because it charges up any kind of luminescence on a watch. So you get a really nice loom out of that. And then you can travel between all the red functions, okay? So the Rovivon is much more user-friendly when it comes down to lights. The bad part is this clip comes off way too easy. So it's not really a reliable clip. It's on there more to keep thing, keep it from rolling off tables and things like that. Um, it does have a lanyard hole, um, and I like that. And they do have an updated version of it with a USB-C plug-in. This is the micro USB uh, plug-in recharge. This is a rechargeable flashlight. Um, so I would highly recommend that. Get the updated version. I always want to get the UV and a good... I, I like this setup. I like the UV, the red light, and the reading light. And I don't know that they make that combination anymore. Put it in the comments down below if you find it. But I've searched a few times. I don't think, I think they've gone away from the UV light and the reading light being on the same flashlight. I think the red light and the UV light are still together. But anyway, um, great flashlight, very compact, even smaller than the Olight Baton 2. And you can see how small it is. Now again, capacity, you're not gonna get a lot of light out of this. But if you're using the reading light, for reading purposes and use the flashlight for searching things out for temporary, like short, very short term illumination, the battery will last, definitely will last. And it doesn't take long to recharge because it's a small battery. So this is what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. One of these three knives, I'll wear a watch kind of like this, this, the belt, um, and then also my concealed carry, which I'm not going to put out here. So I'm pretty much armed all the time. Um, that's just been my background, my training, all that stuff. So that is my everyday carry on a regular day basis. So put down what you have. Uh, any ideas as far as uh, additions or subtractions on here? Do you carry, some guys carry pry bars, some guys carry pliers, um, like dedicated pliers. Uh, and, and that uh, that's, I don't know, I'd like to hear the reasons behind it. The wallet, this is probably the biggest thing that has changed in the last few years, and that is going from the traditional bifold wallet to something like this. And the Dangle wallet is awesome. I have everything in here that I need. I didn't think it would fit. It does. I have the cards in here that I need. I carry cash. I have my business cards, um, insurance cards, all that stuff I carry in here. And it is so much smaller. So I highly encourage all the guys out there, or gals, but all the guys out there to check out you know, a wallet that would simplify things, get things narrowed down to what actually do you need to carry in your pocket on a day-to-day -day basis. And certainly not everything is in there. Certainly not everything is in my pockets because that is not what tier one is all about. Tier one is the basic everyday, go to work, come home, things are pretty normal, maybe a few minor things you gotta fix along the way. So there's my tier one carry for work and for non-work. Put your comments in the comments down below. Let's hear what you had to say. Thank you. My name is Tim. This has been another Real Ideal Gear Review, and we'll catch you guys next time.